Now we're going to use this empty hive to split a full existing one. This hive's full. It's been here for some time now and it's reached an excellent splitting weight. I can tell that by, by picking it up or you can use a set of scales to determine the weight. The bees are very active at the entrance as well. This strap is used to hold the hive sections together. I've loosened and removed the strap. I'm now going to propagate this hive by splitting the bottom from the middle section. The first thing I'm going to do is use this hive tool to break the seal between the sections. You can probably see how, how well the bees have got that sealed together. The bees are starting to come out already. I'm now going to turn it onto all turns around and Break that seal on all corners. I'm now going to use a knife to partly cut through these boxes. I'm not going to go all the way through these boxes because I don't want to cut through the brood. I want to separate the brood by pulling it apart rather than cutting through it. But I do want to cut through some of the honey and pollen stores that you find around the outside of the brood. I'm going to cut diagonally in to each corner like that. I felt when I reached the brood section then, because it was easier to cut, there was less resistance. Quite a lot of resistance now, less resistance, you shouldn't have reached the brood. I'm going to have the empty bottom box ready to place this directly onto. So I'll put it down there. I'm going to use the hive tool to open up the section. So I'm going to keep this knife handy in case I need it to separate some of that brood. And in this case, I don't need it. It's come apart of its own very nicely. So, up in the top I can see that there's a lot of brood. Lots of brood. Plenty to start a new hive. Lots of stored food up there too. So these bees have got everything they need. Workers, brood, food, to kick off a new colony. I'm not going to turn that upside down. It's better to keep it in its original orientation. So I'm going to put it straight back down on this box here. Okay. We put the middle section on. Now I'll place the top section on. This box is now ready, and so is this one. All that remains is we fasten those boxes together, and the process of propagating those hives is complete. Split very nicely. Occasionally it's necessary to use a knife to separate the two layers, but in this case it's not necessary at all. I can simply take this box, 
check it out. There is some brood hanging down. So I am going to transfer that brood into the bottom box because it will fall otherwise. I'll put this back here. I'll take this layer of brood. Place it in there. Maybe another one too. So you can see everything looks great up in the top box. There's no evidence that the contents of that box are slipping down, that they're going to collapse. There's plenty of brood up there, plenty of stored food. You can see some of the honey dripping down and plenty of bees. So that's a perfect nucleus for a new hive. I'm going to put that now on top of this empty box. We can now take these two sections and place them on the bottom box. Okay, we have something obstructing that. So I have to find what's obstructing it. Make sure ah, some wax there. Now going to put this middle section on, top section on, and there we have it. Two hives, both of which have strong nucleuses to create two strong viable individual colonies. Mm -hmm.